I'm Mike Jackley. I'm a Democrat, and I'm running for a Larry Municipal Court judge. I've worked in the uh, Larry Municipal Court system for over 35 years. Um, I was a prosecutor for over 30 years, and um, presently an assistant law director. Um, I've also been a solicitor and prosecutor for the villages of the Grange and Sheffield Village. I was also a prosecutor for the city of Avon. I've had a private practice in, in civil law for over 25 years. Um, besides my legal, and I also started out, I worked for uh, uh, legal aid when I was in uh, law school and immediately after passing the bar, being sworn in as an attorney. Um, I've been on the uh, board for uh, Genesis House since they established the board for the battered women's shelters. Um, I was on the domestic violence task force. Um, I was served uh, terms on the uh, uh, Murray Bridge MRDD board here in Lorain County. I also was on the uh, production board for Murray Ridge. That's where they, after they, they graduate, where they actually, they, they work. Uh, whether they go out into the uh, uh, public and work or whether they work at the actual production center. I was also on their board. I'm currently on Lorain County Community Action uh, Agency Board. We got on that board last year. Um, I served as Elyria City uh, Democrat Party Chair for over 10 years. Um, I worked my way up as the precinct committeeman and award leader uh, to city chairman. Um, and most of you know you can't be a you can't be a, a Democrat official if you're uh, running for judge. So that took care of that. Um, I was president of the Lorain County Young Democrats for over 10 years. Um, and we had a good run, and I'm happy about the success that you now have. Um, graduated from Miami University, got a BA in political science, went to law school at Cleveland Marshall. Um, as far as political goes, uh, I've been involved for uh, decades. Locally, I was campaign chairman for Alex Burnett, Leo Bullock, Eddie Mitchell Jr., treasurer for Oliver Jones, Sue Ely, county campaign coordinator for Lee Fisher, Howard Messenbaum, and Tim Hagan. And uh, my background, not in law and not in politics, I was a steel worker. I was fortunate enough to work there for a couple summers. I was actually a ditch digger. I was the guy with the shovel when they were doing pipeline construction. And that was a real thrill, especially when they did a water line or a gas line. Um, I actually even taught a course, I taught a course of business law at community college. Um, that's kind of my summary of my, hopefully about three minute summary on my background. And that's the reason why I think I would be uh, an excellent uh, municipal judge uh, in Alaria. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Scott Ferrison. Um, I've been practicing law for 32 years. I have a, a, a wife of 32 years uh, and uh, three children. I'm the, uh, I grew up in, uh, in the uh, jurisdiction in North Ridgeville and I've been a lifelong resident uh, of this area. Uh, I want to start out by saying that I think that all three candidates here tonight are qualified to be to be your judge. Um, I have uh, a long and extensive uh, work history myself, but I just want to give you some highlights uh, because after you've done this a hundred times, it gets boring even even to me. Um, I uh, I've been with three different law firms. Um, I have uh, started out uh, without public service job, but I, I did get the opportunity to try a murder case. I've argued two cases before the Supreme Court Ohio, of Ohio, and I've also uh, filed an amicus curiae brief. I graduated from Case Western Reserve University, and I was on the law review there. Uh, I've been the law director for both the city of Elyria and the city of North Bridgeville. And I've worked with many of the townships who are in the jurisdiction here. So I know many of the public officials and backgrounds, including the, uh, the charter of both, both cities. 
I was president of the Lorain County Bar Association, and I was chairman of the Ethics Committee for 10 years. In addition, I have been a member of the uh, Zoning Board, of, or the uh, Fair Housing Board in Elyria, and I've been a city official in the following cities, Elyria, Lorain, Wellington Village, Amherst City, uh, I've done work for Huron County, for Summit County, uh, and I've represented the, uh, the commissioners uh, in the last five years uh, when I've been working for them as well. We all have litanies of, of accomplishments. Uh, that's not to be, uh, so that's not very surprising given uh, the fact that we've all practiced law for a fairly long time. But I don't think that your litany of accomplishments necessarily uh, completes, uh, you know, your reason for being a judge. I think being a judge is not something that you do, but rather something that you bring to the bench. It's, it's about it's about values, plain and simple. Um, if if Political involvement is your life, then you'll deliver political decisions as a judge. I bring a different set of values. Hopefully, my values uh, arise from my family, my community, my friends, and my dedication to law. It just comes down to this. When you're a judge, you have to ask yourself, do you have the courage and to do the right thing when the prosecutor and the defense attorney come into you with a deal they've worked out, that's the wrong thing. I, I believe that I do. It's also a question of having the character and work ethic to make a tough choice. Even if it means you have to work longer that day, even if it means you have to try a case that you may not necessarily want it to, to have. Being the judge means can you stand up to the defense bar uh, who will compromise the community every chance they get and leave the community less safe. That's what they get paid to do. I believe that I can do that. Being a good judge also means having a, a bearing a heavy responsibility and requires not only the knowledge of the law, but knowledge of the community. And this is, I believe, the strongest part of my resume. This is the kind of experience that you get from being a coach at Little League, being the president of the Kiwanis Club, uh, being in JCs, being the president of the uh, Catholic Social Service Board, being an active member of my parish, being down at Little League and working on the field with all those people at Little League East to, uh, to, so that the kids have a, a, a field to play in. So. When I think about the question of why I'm qualified to be a judge, the most important thing that I think you bring to the office is a dedication to protect the good people who sell peanuts, like the Kiwanis, who, to make the world, who, who are selling peanuts to make the world a better place, one child at a time. I hope that my life demonstrates that I care about and have been an active participant in this community, not just the legal community and not just the uh, political community, uh, but the whole community. And I would devote the time necessary and every ounce of strength that I have to do the real work of justice and not just to wear a robe on the gavel. Thank you very much. the opportunity to speak with all of you briefly here tonight. My name is Jay Grunda, and I am one of the five candidates for judge of the Elyria Municipal Court on the Democrat ticket. I am offering to the community and to the voters my 22 years of experience, my knowledge of the law, and my integrity. I have been a lifelong resident of Lorraine County. I have been an Elyria resident for 22 years. I attended public schools on graduating in 1979 from Hamilton High School. From there, I went on to attend the University of Toledo, graduating in 1983, and my Juris Doctor came from Ohio Northern College of Law in 1986. After graduating, I passed the bar in November. 
I joined the law firm of Grunda and Grunda, which was headed by my father, former county prosecutor of Lorraine, and my brother, Joseph Grunda. From there, I went on to hold the position of prosecutor in the Lyria Law Director's Office under the direction of Terry Schill. I began in that office in May of 1987, and I have been a prosecutor full-time in the Lyria Municipal Court since. I am presently the chief prosecutor, and I've held that position for three years. I'm also a prosecutor for the village of Grafton, and I've held that position for 20 years. I'm also a former prosecutor for the city of North Ridgeville. I also do prosecution for North Ridgeville and LaGrange on an as-needed basis. Presently, I'm a special prosecutor appointed by the Court of Common Pleas on behalf of Mr. Saracen's boss to handle a case on behalf of Lorraine County Prosecutor Dennis Will. Last week, I was called upon also to become another special prosecutor again for the city of Lorraine. I've been special prosecutor for them in the past as well as the city of Vermillion. The reason I bring this up is to show that I have experience in the very courts for which each of us are trying to seek the office of judge. By practicing in the court on a daily basis, you get to know how the court operates, functions, and runs. You also get to know how each department interacts and works with the court, such as the probation department, the clerk's office, as well as the collections office and the various police departments as well. I've been endorsed by the Marine County uh, Journal, Morning Journal, as well as Chronicle Telegram. I have endorsements from the Elyria Police Department Law Pack. I also have endorsements from the Elyria Fire Department, Carpenters Union, Local 305. I'm also uh, supported and I'm also endorsed by the Marine County Sheriff's Department Deputies Association. And most importantly, I received the highest rating an attorney can possibly get on behalf of the Rank County Bar Association that is highly recommended. You can confirm all of my qualifications by asking any of our area judges, any of the attorneys that practice in the court, as well as any law enforcement officer. They will all confirm my qualifications. I have handled more cases than all of my opponents put together. I have handled more trials in the municipal court, more preliminary hearings, more arraignments, and more pre-trials. I invite you to join me on May 5th by voting Brenda for judge. Thank you much. Bar Association, Ohio State Bar Association, or and or any other bar associations, and if so, how long? And do you hold a leadership role in the bar association? And do you plan to keep an active membership of the bench? Yes, I um, I have been a member of the Ohio State Bar Association uh, for 32 years. I've also been a member of the Lorain County Bar Association for 32 years. Um, I was president of the Lorain County Bar Association, the only candidate with that distinction. And before that, I was uh, the chairman of the Legal Grievance and Ethics Committee for over 10 years, which uh, allowed me to uh, uh, get phone calls night and day from attorneys about questions of of, of ethics. Uh, Not that I had any special uh, expertise, but you picked one up when you were the chairman of that committee for a long time. I have been active in in the Bar Association by uh, establishing a law law director's section, our municipal law section of the Bar. And uh, I am currently on the uh, Notary Public Committee of the Bar Association and the uh, Admissions uh, uh, Committee for the Lorain County Bar Association. Um, I have found that my uh, association with the Bar has been uh, very positive in terms of uh, of uh, staying abreast of the law, and I think that I would continue to be a member uh, as I have my entire career. Thank you. Um, Jay, do you like to answer that question? Yes, thank you very much. I do belong to the American Bar Association, the Ohio State Bar Association, as well as the Lorraine County Bar Association. Yes, I've been a member ever since I became an attorney 22 years ago. I will continue to be members of all three of those organizations particularly because our local bar association offers continuing legal education 
for all of our members as well as the Ohio State Bar Association which offers a great package in May for judges and attorneys to go down and keep up with their continuing legal education. I've been active with them by giving seminars and actually offering CLE credit uh, and I would definitely remain active. I have also been a member of the uh, Lorain County Bar Association, the Ohio State Bar Association, since I started in 74, so that's over 34 years. Specifically, for many years, I was the uh, head of the Bar Referral Committee, um, the Attorney uh, Referral Committee for the Lorain County Bar Association, and with the Ohio State Bar Association, for many years, I was a member of the Traffic Law Committee, and then there was also a Criminal Law Committee, so I participated that way. And I would, of course, continue to participate in both organizations uh, as I have from the as soon as I became an attorney. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, the next set of questions I want to ask are regarding um, how you would handle certain things um, if you were to become the judge. Um, I would like to know if what is your judicial experience, if any, and have you served in any capacity for alternative dispute resolution, arbitration, mediator, ministry, etc.? Um, we're going to start with Jay. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. As a prosecutor, I am prohibited by law to hold in the positions of magistrates, arbitration, things of that nature, because I am on a particular side of the law, that being prosecution for the city and for the state. With regards to my experience in the court as uh, a prosecutor, I have worked under the direction of Judge Muffin, Judge Lockgraves, Judge George Ferguson, and John Howard. I've learned from each and every one of them how to be fair, impartial, how to look at each side of every issue and every case, not to be a cookie cutter individual, and you have to decide each case based on the facts presented. I know that there are elements of a case that a prosecution has to prove, and I know that the defense side is there to protect the rights of the defendant, as well as to show any element that the prosecution did not prove. The judge's function is not to be a participant in any way and not to be an advocate for either side. The judge is supposed to remain neutral, fair, and impartial. He's supposed to decide the case based on the evidence presented. And based on that evidence presented and the black letter law and the case law, he then must make his decision as to what he believes was actually proven beyond a reasonable doubt or what wasn't proved beyond a reasonable doubt. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> The question is, uh, what is your judicial experiences, I mean, and have you served in any capacity for alternate, alternative dispute resolution, arbitration, mediator, ministry? Okay. okay. My answer to that, I, I um, as uh, was already said, uh, stated, you can't really, you can't be an acting judge if you're a prosecutor, and I have been on the prosecution uh, side and, and also worked as assistant law director for 30 plus years, so I couldn't do that. However, on the civil law side, I've been on the board, arbitration uh, boards for common police court, a member of the three member boards who help decide to resolve civil cases, and uh, I have been a member of those arbitration boards. Um, and since it brought up, I, I too have learned, you know, to, to, to call them as I see them, so to speak, and I've also worked under Judge Howard and Judge Musson and Judge Lockgrace and Judge also Judge Mackin and also Judge Warren and Judge Navy too. So I, I think I've, I've picked up some good pointers from working, working with those uh, six municipal judges myself. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I don't think a lot of people understand that Elyria Municipal Court has a substantial civil docket. Uh, both Mike and I have had civil practices over the years. And unlike the other two candidates, I've had a very active civil practice. Uh, I wasn't always a prosecutor. I've held several positions. I wanted to say in response to this question that uh, I don't think I uh, ever practiced under a judge. Um, I, I don't think I would put it that way. I think you practice in front of a judge, 
and it's nice, and I've practiced in front of judges all the way up to the Ohio Supreme Court. Uh, the, the, uh, to, to get to, to specifics, I was a Lorain County uh, um, Common Pleas Court arbitrator. I'm a trained mediator. I've had the mediation training, uh, which was very helpful to me when I did uh, collective bargaining negotiations for the city of Elyria uh, and North Ridgeville. I've been a hearing officer for Summit County, where I heard cases uh, involving uh, uh, human resource law. I also took mayor's court training in North Ridgeville when, uh, uh, when I was the law director out there, and we had to establish a valid uh, mayor's court. We got sued for, uh, the city got sued for not having appropriate uh, uh, setup. Uh, and due to that training, I have served as the um, uh, mayor's, court, mayor's court substitute for the village of LaGrange uh, when the mayor there was, was unable to do that. Um, I, uh, I do believe that uh, this perhaps is not the most uh, telling uh, uh, of, uh, you know, of experience because uh, when, you, when you're in a court, whether you're the defense or the prosecutor, or the judge, we all pretty much understand our roles, and it's not that big a switch to uh, uh, to adapt to them. Uh, what's more important than the judge, as, as I've indicated, is, is what you personally bring to the bench, not necessarily the, uh, the experience that you have. But I've had substantial experience in this area, and, uh, and I agree with Jay that uh, you have to be uh, you have to be open-minded. You have to listen to the evidence, weigh the evidence, uh, and uh, be very careful uh, that you consider everything before you make your decision. And, and, and I think that's the key to being an effective and uh, fair judge. Thank you. Thank you very much.